So Andy Tower has these three Towerville fragrances that he only sells when he's making an appearance at a store event about his fragrances. Those are Hyacinth and a Mechanic by here, which was launched last year, and I actually have a video about it. There's also, he left his cologne in my bedroom, this one that was launched this year uh, when he made an appearance at Tiger Lily in San Francisco. And then a third one was launched at the same time called When We Cuddle and I Can Smell Your Perfume on My Clothes. We're gonna do a quick mini first impressions reviews of these and you're gonna have a chance at winning a sample of each one of them if you are a subscriber of this channel and a USA um, resident. So please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in, this is Sebastian. And that's right, these are three fragrances that were launched uh, recently. One of them is Hyacinth and the Mechanic. As I said, I did do a video about this one. And boy, can I tell you that this is one of the beastliest fragrances I have ever worn. And the fragrance just it was lasts like so long. So the problem with these fragrances is that there's not a lot of information about them online because they are very limited releases. So basically what Andy does is when he's making an appearance, like last year he made an appearance at Lucky Scent and that's uh, how I was able to get this when I had somebody buy it for me. And um, you can't get a mail order or anything like that. They don't sell them online. Only time when he makes that appearance is when you can buy these. And it's only for that day or during his visit. So you can't get it the next day or the day before or a week after or a week before or anything like that. So Hyacinth and the Mechanic is the, from last year. And also these are $89 and it's a 50 mil, I think. Oh no, 100 mil. These are 100 mil and retail for $89. And it does say they are eau de toilette. So let's try Hyacinth and the Mechanic. And uh, if you want to watch the video about Hyacinth and a Mechanic, you can. But um, as I was saying, there's not a lot of information about these fragrances, but there was notes for this one uh, on uh, Parfumo.net. So I was able to find notes, but the other two, I was not able to find any notes uh, written about them. So if you don't like Hyacinth, you might not like this one, but this is the kind of Hyacinth that is like so butch. It's extremely butch. Um, so if you're thinking you're gonna get this like floral thing, you're not gonna get that. But the notes for this one are hyacinth, floral notes, leather, and woody notes. So to me, as I said, I've, I've worn this because I've had it longer than the other two. Um, this is beastly. Like you only need two sprays and it'll be with you for the whole day. If not, when you wake up the next day, you can still smell it on you. It's that strong. And the fragrance is also very sticky, so just be careful when you're spraying it. So it's really potent. Um, the cloud is huge. Projection, beast, it's just like the word beast comes to mind when you say hyacinth and a mechanic. So um, it's very dark. It's a very dark flower. Uh, and then lots of woody notes and lots of leather. I mean, leather is really, really beastly here. Um, that's why I think it's a perfect name, Hyacinth and the Mechanic. It's basically you're taking a mechanic shop and mass smashing it up with like a, the, the beautiful Hyacinth flower. So exactly what you get. So if you like that kind of thing, marrying like this beautiful floral note with like this very kind of dirty, greasy mechanic uh, or mechanic shop, and you got it with Hyacinth and a Mechanic. So that is Hyacinth and a Mechanic. Now, the other two, I've smelled at Tiger Lily when he made his appearance there. That's when I bought these. Uh, again, these are $89 uh, dollars each. And we've got, he left his cologne in my bedroom. And when we cuddle and I can smell your perfume on my clothes. So let's go ahead and do, he left his cologne in my bedroom. So I haven't smelled these since, um, April of uh, this year. It's been three months, almost three months. So let's try this one. This is the one I think I loved out of the two that I just bought. And I think, I I think it's my favorite from the three. It's easier to wear. So so this one has this brightness. It's a bit green. 
Um, it has citrusy in it uh, too. So if you like a citrusy, clean citrus, but you have that kind of like tower uh, notes, the, the very, you know, prominent tower DNA type notes in here. And it's wonderful. I, I really love this one. Um, it's slightly herbal, slightly citrusy, but very, very unique. So probably because it's called He Left His Cologne in my bedroom, it's probably inspired by maybe some traditional uh, colognes, you know, uh, with, um, uh, you know, like citruses and herbs and herbal notes with that tower DNA kind of thing mixed together. And uh, so it's, it's lighter, but you still have like this base that's like really, really, you know, strong. So very, very good one. He left his cologne in my bedroom is amazing. So that one is uh, $89 again. So um, let's now try when we cuddle and I can smell your perfume on my clothes. So this one I think is not as potent as Hyacinth and the Mechanic. Out of the three, I think Hyacinth and the Mechanic is the beastliest, but I don't remember it that much. So let's go ahead and smell it. Now this one to me is spicier. I, I, mm, I'm getting like, I'm getting a little bit of leather a little bit of brightness around that leather, kind of almost like, um, you know, spiced up with like cinnamon or cloves or something. Actually, come to think of it, I think my favorite of the three is when we cuddle and I can smell your perfume on my clothes. I think that one's, this one's really, really good, actually. Wow, I mean, I, I'm about to wear this one because I'm not wearing anything. Um, when we cuddle, I can smell your perfume on my clothes. I love the name. Pretty long, but really love the name. Very catchy. And this one is, um, he left his cologne in my bedroom. I think the color of the font on here totally matches the scent also because I get that greenness. And this one is the blue. Wow, this one is uh, really good. I think from what I remember when I was at Tiger Lily when they were having that event, this is the one that was selling out the most. Probably makes sense now that I think about it. But, um, I originally thought it was he left his cologne in my bedroom, but it's definitely when we cuddle and I can smell your perfume on my clothes. So if you get a chance, I highly recommend, if you're, I mean, if you're a fan of Andy Tower and Tower Perfumes and Towerville, um, these are part of the Towerville collection again, but these are the unique bottles that are like only available when he makes his appearances. So if you get a chance, Highly recommend you, you try them all. You might like one over the other, but I'm really, really loving the one we cuddle and I can smell your perfume on my clothes. I mean, I like this one, Hyacinth and the Mechanic too. It's just so strong. Um, the warmer the city has gotten where I live in San Francisco, the less stronger fragrances I'm wearing. So this is probably more appropriate for like colder weather. It's, it's really, really strong. But these two are really great for pretty much all year round, I think. I mean, they're still more potent than your average citrus or aromatic kind of fragrance because they have that tower ambery kind of a spicy DNA, but both you can get away all year round, I think, and this one's gonna do really, really wonderfully. So might have to even get a backup bottle of this one if I can ever. Okay. And the other cool thing is these are really cool bottles. I mean, I like these little white bottles. Uh, they just, they'll display really wonderfully along with uh, your you know other bottles. And there's nothing like this out there. I mean, in, even in a tower land, there are no other bottles like this. So these are quite unique. So anyway, guys, do you know this line? Like I said, this line is only available when Andy Tower makes an appearance at a shop for some kind of an event he, uh, he is doing. And they sell for $89 in the States. Um, and um, I'm, I'm assuming, I think he's done a few in Europe as well. I can't remember exactly, but I remember one at least in London, I think he was doing when they were selling these. So do check them out. You are gonna smell totally original. There's not a lot of people out there who have these fragrances. And if you can get them, definitely get them because they'll only be available during the event. So great, great stuff here. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on these Towerville Stories collection fragrances. Um, these are them right here. Have you 
gotten your noses on them? Have you been curious to find out about them? Have you tried them? And have you been wanting to get them? Now's your chance as a subscriber to my channel, you'll have a chance at winning all three of them in a sample. I'm happy to give a subscriber here a sample of uh, one of these. If you are in the USA only, please, as shipping is really complicated for the rest of the world. Uh, but uh, if you have a relative in the States and you want to still participate, you can. We can ship it to your relative. Uh, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And also, please put down why you want to win these three samples. And please also write down what your favorite Tower Perfumes or Towerville fragrance is and list your state so I can know to qualify you for the giveaway. All right, guys, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.